Welcome to Dan's on the Street. I'm Dan. Today we're going to visit the city of Palma on the island of Mallorca in the Balearic Sea. It's one of the Balearic Islands. We're going to explore using Google Maps and Google Street View. This is an ancient city. Uh, Rome established it, I read, back in the first century. And it was occupied by various other peoples before that. Ancient place. And uh, I don't know too much about it. I'm really excited to check it out. Look at the way it's laid out. Interesting. All right, this is going to be fun. Well, let's drop right in. Plenty of street views. I don't know where to start. How about right here? All right, we landed in a touristy place, I think. Tons of people looking around, all looking at us. Hey, everyone. In a sort of shopping plaza here. Some guy selling art, maybe. This is very nice, though. Great buildings. Very colorful. Look at this stone walkway here. All these happy faces. <laughs> Alright, let's move through here. This definitely looks like the type of place I would visit. It seems like everyone had the same idea. Good heavens, there's a lot of people here. Touristy area, clearly. M my, oh my, I can't even maneuver around. There's so many people. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone. Uh, yeah, let's move back here where there's fewer people. Outdoor seating. Lots of food. This looks like a great plaza. Very nice. We're sort of stuck on the outside, it looks like. This guy waving at us. This is a very engaged audience here. Um, hey, what just happened? I'm not sure what happened there, but we just zoomed outside. I'll take it that. That was a little crowded for me. Beautiful balcony out here. Lovely trees, lovely sky. A little graffiti there. Alright, this is a pretty cool start. Let's pull right up. Oh, so here's that plaza. That is nice. You can tell there's even all these people selling stuff here from above. You can see that. Fantastic old place. This is a dense place. Look, look how these are narrow streets and uh, a ton of population. I read there's, I think I read there's around a half million thereabouts. All these streets are closed to cars in here, which is great for pedestrians. This is super pedestrian friendly. Uh, almost too pedestrian friendly. There's, t Thank goodness there's no vehicles in here because that would not work. As it is, it's just super dense. But that's fun. I mean, that, that's a good sign that this is a great place to visit. Claire's, oh yeah. Old church here, looks like. Yeah, some of the buildings, I did the, you know, I did my standard looking around on Wikipedia for a little bit. And um, some of the buildings here date back to, goodness, 12th century, 13th century. Some of the cathedrals, I know we're going to check them out, date back to then, which is just insanely old. This is so pretty down here, though. Outdoor seating. More graffiti. Just follow this way. This area seems like it could be open to vehicles, but there aren't any. I haven't seen a single car yet. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, this is definitely an old church of some sort. This is so tight. How? I mean, this whole city in here. Hey, here's a car. They fit one in. Um, compact cars only would be the rule here, I think. You know, no fit in a... Well, here somebody has a van. Good luck. That's going to be tight. These streets are narrow back in here. Look at this beautiful light coming through here. It's old... Yeah, all these old apartment buildings even. Whatever they are, I guess apartments. Lovely. Great style, great character. Some bikes there. Just amazingly tight and dense and colorful, textured. It's really pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Yes, some old toys here, toy cars maybe. This guy's painting. 
Yeah, I'm sure this is a great tourist destination. And uh, if you're lucky enough to live here, what a fun life. I think this would be... I could really see enjoying this. Oh my god, though, it's so tight. Can't even see the sky. Just... Yeah, just remarkably tight. I don't know what... You know, what do these streets date... Do the streets date back to somewhere in there too, I guess, maybe? Certainly they were designed prior to large vehicles, but even horses and so forth uh, need a certain amount of space. And I'm kind of I'm amazed how tight they designed all that, but I mean, clearly it's working. <laughs> People living here for a few thousand years, getting by, so yeah, this is really nice. Look at this window. But that's amazing inside with the light coming through there. Lots of silver vehicles. Oh boy. Very pretty. I've never I've never even been to Spain yet. I, I want to go someday. Um I know this isn't I mean it's it is definitely part of Spain, but it's also not part of the mainland. Um, this would definitely be a great place to get to, I'm sure. Yep, another big old church. So there definitely are cars getting through here, but it's just it's just tight. You can rent some bicycles here. I'd definitely do that. That'd be a fun way to get through the streets. That'd be the perfect vehicle to zoom around these tight streets. Hey, here's a horse. Tourists going through. This is this town is all tourists, so you you can just tell, um, right? I'm sure some of these people are locals. Holy God! Look at this tree. That is insane. What a beauty. How old do you think that is? Oh my God! So old. This is so lovely. Man, yep. It's touristy for a reason. It, it like it it's just perfectly welcoming to tourists. Like it you're guaranteed to have a wonderful kind of I don't know, just unique experience hanging out in here for a while. This is interesting. It looks like almost a river of uh garden through the city. Isn't that interesting? Let's definitely check that out. I mean, it's a park. It's just like the world's most narrow park. And, you know, narrowest and longest. No grass, but tons of great trees. Oh, the apartments along here must be super desirable. Looks like they have some bike lanes here, maybe. Or maybe those are just car lanes. Oh, it's so tight. Great old statues. I love that you like blurred the statue's face. Uh, take it easy there, Google. That's not a real human. Oh, there it is. No. Some Roman figure, it looks like. Not sure. A modern sculpture as well. A little bit of both. Man, oh man, this is so nice. Palma. It's got a great name, too. Very pretty. I mean, look at how nice that is. Sometimes I'll visit a city, and at the end I'll, I'll pick out a thumbnail, you know? And sometimes I, actually, I struggle to find a thumbnail. And I, I don't want to be mean to the cities, but sometimes it's just like a city doesn't... For whatever reason, doesn't offer a lot of clear, uh, whatever, objects of desire, or something, just like something that you'd really want to put up as a thumbnail. This city, I'm going to have no issue with that. There's every frame of this, I feel like I could zoom out, boom, there's a thumbnail. Oh, another thumbnail. You know, it's, that's how pretty it is. Even in here, this would be an interesting thumbnail. 
All right, I'll, that's enough about thumbnails, but all that to say, just amazingly interesting to see. I've seen this a couple places here. This is some sort of organic. I don't know if people are putting food scraps in there or what's the deal with that? I've seen that at a couple places. Bars. I would go in so many of these shops and bars. My word, you must get lost in here though, right? It just the, there's no objects of, um, you can't like point yourself to something when everything's so narrow and tight. You can't just have a point of reference. Now here's the Cathedral de Mallorca. And I think this is the one I've read that like was built. They started building it in the 13th century, which is just insane. And it's still here. Look at this place. I'm pretty sure this is, it dates to somewhere in there, 1250, something like that. It took over a hundred years to build, something like that. Um, my oh my. Can you imagine that they were able to do this that back then? Um, that's just remarkable. I can't, I can't imagine that using the tools they had. Um, let's go inside. Give it a second. Here we go. This is the... I have never seen more tourists in my life, I swear. And I've been to Disneyland. Um, this is crazy. Unbelievable views in here. Very raw. Like, um, they didn't... I wonder if there used to be paintings on here that have come off, but it's it's remarkably raw. Like they didn't, no frescoes, just raw stone. Gotta appreciate that. It's pretty neat. Still got the beautiful stained glass. I wonder if they still have services in here. It sure looks like it. So I would guess it's a functioning um, place of worship. Cafe bar. This is... This is a real beauty. Let's check out one more place, maybe, inside. Oh, we're in some sort of adjacent plaza. Another ancient-looking place. Again. Boom, there's a thumbnail. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna struggle to pick a good one. Uh, there's so many good ones. Pieces of this. This is interesting here. Have they been strategically left, or is this actively decaying? What's going on there? I'm going to assume that it was placed there. Better else this building's falling apart. Wonderful, though. I mean, good heavens. Oh, fountain. I like that they put a little marker in that. I think we could all tell what that is, but... Oh, there we go. There's the fountain, and there's that church. What a beautiful church. What an impressive feat of human engineering and design. Selfie stick. Um, all right. The tour is here, my God. I mean, and at the same time, I'm actively thinking like, ooh, I'd love to take a tour here. Um, and in some, in many ways, I am touring here. So I'll try to reserve my judgment. Fantastic, though. Unbelievable views. Uh, the weather looks amazing, too. Just notice what everyone's wearing here. This is November, and we've got shorts, dresses. This is a beautiful temperature, I bet, here. I'm sure it gets pretty hot. Tons of boats out in here. So, I mean, we're on, we're on a bay, and uh, oh, here's the boat tours going out here. I wonder if we have any pictures out in the bay. Let's drop right in here. Hey, somebody missed... Oh, wait, maybe we're in a boat. Well, either way. That's not what I was hoping to see. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Maybe we'll get a view from over here. Hey, now we're on a boat here. Okay, cruise ships come into town. Good lord, look at these huge cruise ships. I've never even... Um, I feel like these videos... 
I'm gonna be just listing off things that I've never done. I've never been on a cruise. Um, I don't know, I, I expect someday I will. Slightly unappealing to me, but I get, I get the appeal. No, I do get the appeal, but I don't know, maybe, maybe when I'm older and got a few kids, <laughs> I don't know, they want to enjoy something like that. Um, it's probably in my future, let's be honest. All right, we're on the road again. Let's let this load up here. Look at these beautiful clouds here, so wispy. And look at this view. All these wonderful apartments and hotels facing the, um, you know, facing this. Some yachts out here, mega yachts. Look at those. And just endless boats. I would love to go for a walk along this bay. Stunning. Just stunning. Oh, sun's going down or something here. Yeah. Tons of balconies. Definitely a newer part of town here. I wonder how this area went undeveloped that they, or maybe they tore down some ancient stuff to build all these new apartments. But it's kind of surprising that we had such an ancient part of the city. You would imagine that would have extended out to the sea at some point. But, hmm, hard to know. Because none of this looks too old at all. Beautiful palms, palms and palma. I assume, I, I wonder if it got its name from palm trees? I mean, that doesn't seem like a crazy guess. Tons of shops. This is so nice. Mm. All right, let's see. This is a big town, so we're not gonna see too much of it, but hopefully we get a little sense of things. My eyes are drawn to this Castle de Belver. Not sure what this is, but let's check it out. Wow, okay. Some ancient structure, structure, a castle of some sort. We're on the roof here. My oh my. Wonder what this dates to. I'm gonna have to look this one up after I record. Wonderful view of this town. There it is. So pretty. And the distant mountains, I didn't even consider those. You got mountains, you got a bay, you got castles. I mean, this is, this town's got it all. History, food. Uh, what else do you want, right? Nice weather. Uh, a ton of tourists. <laughs> Look at this old place. Fantastic. Man, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look up when this dates to, because this clearly is very old. Let's orbit around it just a bit. Yeah. Castel de Belver. Very neat. Interesting design, that's unusual. Oh, we can't get up in the, I wanted to go up in this one. Um, well, let's to drop out here to see if we can get a view of it. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, pretty awesome. Scooter, that'd be a great way to get around. Look at this guy's sneaking across the street. Um, great, great views. Okay. Let's check out some more of this city. This is a big park. Let's be sure to see this. Um, hey, not, not great street views through it. I guess we'll drop down into photographs for now. That's a little disappointing. Oh, this is still really nice. Look at this old guy with his cane. Classic. Okay. I mean, it's a, it's a park, it's a plaza. I don't really know. What do you think these are here, these vents? 
you think there's a, is this a water feature or I'm not quite sure what I'm seeing here. That's interesting. Yeah, maybe those are fountains. Um, hard to say. I can't tell what this structure is. Maybe a restaurant. Oh. Okay. Looks like there's a train system here. So maybe those are vents for the train. I can't quite tell. Let's pull out into street view. Feel more comfortable there. Can move around. Lovely. Just bustling. Just crazy bustling. November 2018. Quite recent. Yeah, good mixture of old and new here. Man, really enjoying this architecture. Much more space here. You can actually breathe out here. Um, lovely. Yeah, those narrow streets were amazing, but uh, also just a tad stifling. Interesting. Tons of people, tons of cars, tons to see. Very cool. All right, this has been neat. All right, a few more places. Let's see, what is this? This looks like an ancient stadium. Sort of has the look of like a Roman era. Um, Placa de Torres de Palma. Oh, Torres, okay. Wow. Oh my God. Well, this is an unusual sight. Again, this, back to the thumbnails thing. <laughs> this city is not lacking. That is a first. Interesting, so great stadium, and clearly they do bullfighting here. I, I am uh, speechless, I don't know. I've never seen that, I've never seen such a sight. I wonder who took that picture, that's amazing. View from the stands. All right, you get it. No bull in this picture. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool to check out. I'll have to look up what that dates to. I, it's a little hard to tell if that's super ancient or, you know, if it was very ancient, I'm sort of surprised it's still in use. I'm glad to see it's in use, but maybe it's not as ancient as, uh, I don't know, does it date to the 13th century? I kind of doubt it, but it's hard to say. There's an obelisk. Yeah, sure. Let's check it out. Nice roundabout in here. I don't know what I was expecting, but that is definitely an obelisk. <laughs> Look at the plane. Looks like it's about to hit it. Uh, that's fun. Yep. Great little intersection. Beautiful. All the streets coming into that. Great design. I don't know whether to congratulate the design. I mean, it's it's certainly unique and like, it's stunning. But the issue of the density is, it's hard to get past that. It's just so crazy dense. Oh, this is so nice. Look at these wonderful flowers they have growing here. Bike riders. Scooter looks like nobody's using it. I'll take it if nobody wants it. Very nice. Okay, let's see. What else should we see? What else? Museums. Hmm. Temple. Just taking this all in. How about something over here? What do you think this is? Okay. 
Oh, interesting. I can't quite tell what this is. Some sort of ancient place. This old stone. Again, it's just the light, the skies. Every bit of this is amazing. Crane over there. A couple cranes, actually. Oh, wait, those are antennas. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, distant church. Just looks so, so pleasant. Can't quite tell what that is, though. I'm going to... I did a little bit of Wikipedia time before this recording, and I'm going to have to hit that hard after this, because there's a lot I'm seeing that I don't quite understand. But I'm loving it. Loving it. Big trash bins. Fair amount of graffiti around. A little too much, I'd say. So many cute shops. Auto Technica. Wow. Parking here, yeah. Parking's gotta be a nightmare. Interesting. Well, I'm really enjoying this. All right, a couple more places. One or two, one or two, and then I'm gonna have to call it a day here. This has been really enjoyable. We saw this bay a little bit. Oh, a golf course up here. Let's check out this little neighborhood up here to the north. Okay, a little less dense. Some single-family homes in here, maybe. Still very pretty. wonder what the housing market is here. I bet it is pretty steep. This looks very desirable. Hmm. Can we go down this? My Omias is narrow. Hmm. Squeeze. Okay through. Um, interesting. We're really just in an alleyway back here, it feels like. Boy, in the era before Google Maps and stuff, it must have been really easy to get lost. Uh, well, period, but especially in this city, I feel like, I don't know, it just seems like you could get yourself turned around really easily and not be able to find your way back. Okay. I saw on Wikipedia that there was a, an old ancient lighthouse. Wonder where that is. It was like the oldest current, still functioning lighthouse. Dating back to, so, I don't know, it was like the 1600s, so. I, wanna, I was hoping to get a peek of that. Not sure where that is, though. It's got to be down by the water, right? Old cannon. Clearly a fort of some sort back here. Definitely be a cool place to check out. You can see it from above there. Interesting. All right, where is that lighthouse? Let's see. I think it was called Porto Pi. And that sort of looked like it said Porto Pie. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. One of the oldest lighthouses in the world, and the oldest currently functioning, or still functioning, it still lights up, I guess. That's fantastic. I was hoping we'd get a much better view of it, but for some odd reason, there's no street view here. What's going on with that? Oh, very disappointing. Well, we will have to get by and uh, orbit around it using this map. Well, there's a, a poor, you know, visualization of it. Still pretty amazing. Wow, to think again, built so very long ago. And still here. 
Amazing. All right, one more place, and I'm going to call it a day. This has been so lovely. Um, <laughs> I'm drawn to this down here. Let's just check out this kind of man-made bay. So pretty. Look at this. I, I, this might be the most amazing sky I've ever seen. Uh, in Google Maps, that is. Find me a rival. <laughs> you know, if you've seen a cooler sky, let me know where and I'll check it out. But this has to be one of the best all around. And specifically even here, like this is just a gorgeous view. Old trees. Well, maybe not so much these. Again, look at the sky. What in the world? This is a beautiful country. And a beautiful city. And, um... I knew almost nothing about it. And I, this has been really a joy to see. Yeah, Tesla. Wow. I'm gonna have to, This definitely goes on my list of places I would love to visit someday. If you live in Palma, and, uh... I miss some of your favorite places. Please do tell me in the comments, and I always come back and check them out. And, um, yeah, this has been great. For now, though, I'm going to put it on my map. Palma, Spain, in Mallorca. Wow. A true beauty. There she is. Sitting right there. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please check out some of my other ones. Please subscribe. I was in uh, Porto, Portugal. That was a good time. And uh, Bordeaux. Oh my, that was another beautiful place. So please subscribe. Uh, share it around if you enjoyed it. Tell your friends. And until next time.